Hi guys, this is Insane J. I am here at our mob grind and I'm getting ready to place our quarry. And before I go off into Twilight, I need a new shovel. And I'd like to enchant it first, so I'm getting some XP from the jars. This grinder is awesome. We brought up some spawners from Twilight, put them in the, the room back there. And then we placed some turtles here. <coughs> Excuse me, with some programming from Dawn. And some brain in jars from Mipia. And they're all connected to the ender chest here, which is also connected to the storage room. And as you can see, some items that are dropped aren't yet taken care of, but we'll get to that later. But yeah, it's awesome, all the, the drops that we don't need or don't want to collect are redirected into a recycler in the basement and all the other drops end up here like uh, golden hose and bones and string and rotten flesh and all those kinds of things and the rest ends up in the basement goes into the recycler well right now it's empty of course it's fed into the recycler to produce scrap for the matter fabricator which is doing alright hey we got a scrap box, cool and we're making some UU matter we still can use more energy that's also why Sverv, excuse me, Sverv <laughs> has begun building this giant lightning rod. Needs another block here, which requires a lot of iridium, which is one of the reasons we're building the quarry. Because uh, a quarry can get uh, well, a decent amount of iridium pretty quickly. Just turn it on and it'll run overnight and before you know it you have iridium as you see silk touch, cool ok so let's get the stuff I need for the quarry of course the quarry and then some landmarks to extend the default area an energy tesseract to and an ender chest and it just occurred to me I forgot something we also need a chunk loader so let's ask Wordy if he can make a chunk lo loader could you make a chunk loader for me please then we'll go upstairs uh, no. here we are here are some new blocks which make our life a lot easier here you see an IC2 MV consumer which is connected to an energy bridge and basically what this does is it takes uh, EU from down below from the basement currently zero because nothing is being used and it feeds it into the energy bridge and the energy bridge can convert this into uh, MJ which is uh, what the quarry will need so all we have to do is put the tesseract I made earlier onto the energy bridge and then this should start filling up um, I have to put some numbers here Zero one. There we go, and it's set. This can go both ways. Public access, yeah, that's fine. Transport mode, send, receive. Yeah, that's cool. So when we go to the twilight and place down the quarry, all we have to do is put on an energy tesseract 
and the power will come from our base and feed into the quarry so we don't have to set up engines or uh, solar panels or whatever you can just put down the machine and get to work no, I prefer to take some dirt with me cool so let's take some dirt two stacks, three stacks, sure why not and head on over to the twilight twilight, the twilight what's it called? Man, this rain is annoying. I should turn it off. Okay, I'm in twilight and as you can see I still have that bug that changes my game mode into creative mode. Oh yeah, I did something uh, cool. I put an enchantment on my nano suit. Uh, my boots now have haste too, and the leggings have projectile protection. Uh, the haste, basically, what it does is, uh, whenever I walk, I get running speed. So when I start flying with my jetpack, uh, it goes a lot faster because you maintain the speed you had from running. Let's see the giant dome of doom. Uh, these domes in Twilight contain a lot of ores. I've already been collecting a lot of resources from that one. So we'll go look for another. And there it is. Oh wait, this is... This looks like a Hydra. Hmm. I'm not sure it's such a good idea to place a quarry here. See ya. Oh, too late. There's another Hydra that way. According to my waypoints. You know what? I'm going to go look for a big dome on Dinmap. And then I'll just go there and start placing it. I just went back because Wordy finished building the chunk loader and I wanted to show you guys something here you have what looks like a small ruin and these are real gold mines because sometimes, not always, but sometimes they have a little room below them with a chest and as you can see this one has two emeralds and some very nice tools in it efficiency 4 on breaking 2 so yeah that's really cool water bottle and a charm of keeping one and this is awesome everybody should try to find these because uh, what this does uh, charm of keeping one will uh, save your armor pieces in case you die so everything I have here the advanced electric jetpack the nano suit leggings and boots they will be preserved if I jump into lava or get eaten by a dragon or whatever and you also have a charm of keeping two and three and the two also saves the items you have on the hotbar and three saves your entire inventory so yeah these are pretty valuable if you can get them please do because whenever you die you'll be glad you have them so yeah, there is a regular dome with lots and lots of ore in it but I think I'm going to uh, take this opportunity to dig a hole for the Hydra then it will drop down and who knows maybe it will uh, become easier to kill it so let's see what happens when we put a quarry on top of a Hydra I'm turning on the the chunk borders because what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand the region the quarry operates in to a 64 by 64 area so first I'm going to place some blocks right here in this corner so the quarry can start on top and 
work its way down. So this will contain the quarry in a bit and then the tesseract and then the ender quarry and finally the chunk loader. Is that right? Now I should probably change the order a bit but we'll get it sorted later. First I'll do the markings here. I'm at Y72. Let's make it an even 70. I'm being shot at. That's okay. I need to place three. That's seven, sixty-nine. Three of these land markers. So that's one, two. And here I'll put number 3. And what these do, they will make a square. And if you place the quarry down, it will extend the radius the quarry works into the size of the square. So by default, it's only 8x8 eight eight or 9x9 nine nine or something like that, really small. But now it will use this square instead. So I'll turn off the chunk borders and then let's see how does it did this work it's been a while since I last put down a quarry so there we go we'll keep five chunks loaded yeah that's good then place the tesseract on one of the sides like this And then put the ender chest on top. And I forgot to bring die. Oh, that's not smart at all. And then the chunk loader can go to the other side. Show lasers. Let's see, this should keep the region loaded for now. Maybe it's a bit much. Yeah, five will do. Yeah, five will do nicely. Now the question is, is... No, it's not getting power because I still need to set the frequency. There we go. Now it should be getting power. Yeah, and there we have it. That's the builder block thing to make orange girders. And then we'll start uh, digging up the area. So I'm going to. Oh, it's moving really fast. I'm moving, removing the ender chest. And I'm going to get some dye to link it up to the storage area. And then I'll be back to finish up here. I'm back at the quarry and the quarry has already begun working. So I need to put down the ender chest quickly. I'm going to color code it first so it doesn't put its stuff in somebody else's ender chest. Uh oh. There we go. Inventory pitch. Come on. Pick it up again. Oh. Man. That bug is really kidding me. Keeps changing my game mode to creative. But it's not entirely creative, so. Oh, come on. Typos. It's 
try that again. Game mode zero. Thank you. All right. Now place the. <laughs> there are a ton of blocks here. Well, at least the quarry is working. There they go. I hope the storage room can keep up. And I need to make new categories for these items. So I'll just pick these up, put them in the chest and then head back to the base, to the house. Uh. Yeah, I'll go back now. Yeah, I'm really curious to see what will happen to the Hydra. Will it fall down the pit or not? Mm -hmm. I guess we'll find out. At any rate, the quarry is really moving. It's wow, it's really fast. It's awesome. Yeah, so we're going to change Twilight into Swiss cheese. Because we can. Okay, let's head back home. Change my game mode again. And here you see in the chest with the same color coding. And what happens here is oh, each chest is placed on top of a sorting machine and each sorting machine has its own battery and a solar panel and behind them I put some tubing and two columns of deep storage units so each sorting machine will put items into eight deep storage units and it will only put in specific items because the deep storage units act like a barrel. You can only put one item type in it. And you can put a lot of one item in it. As you can see it's well over 7,000 dirt. More than 10,000 cobblestone. So you can store well, pretty much anything you want. And a lot of it too. Yeah, the only problem is you need to uh, get the items uh, in the right place and for this I decided to use the sorting machines so let's see what else we've got here grass blocks well that's not something the core will dig up but the rubber wood is so I'm going to make something for the rubber wood and the quartz crystal that's new oh no it already has it sapling is new do we want to store the saplings? No we don't <coughs> they're crap so I also made something that will feed into uh, another chest another color code as you can see this is the same as the quarry and the storage and this is the same as the one down below with the recycler so I'm going to tell this to put all the rubber tree saplings into the recycler so if I put them in here, oh, there they go, and then they're being put into the recycler down below to produce scrap for the uh, ma matter fabricator. Yeah, not the mass fabricator, the matter fabricator. And the rubber wood, yeah, I think I will we'll store the rubber wood. So I'm going to make, uh, I'll put it in here. As you can see I color coded it. A white to black. I put it into continuous mode so it will uh, keep on working and this here says uh, basically it will take up to one stack uh, from each column uh, it can find inside the attached inventory, in this case the ender chest. So it will grab up to one stack of tungsten ore and push it down into the pipe towards the white or at up to a stack of ender pearls towards pink. So I'm going to put in rubber here 
and this is number five one two three four five in the chain and I have to count them like this so one two three four this will be five and as you can see it already has rubber wood in it so I'm going to put it on the item frame so we know what's in there put the rest in and now whenever it comes across rubber wood it will put it inside this deep storage unit and we can do this for all yeah, the other that's items basically well. how I'm going to fill all these chests with items so I hope we have enough uh, because if we don't then well, I'll have to expand the room outward or somewhere else but for now it should be enough and we can always decide to scrap some items we don't need like carrots or potatoes or whatever or rotten flesh but what we're looking for is this redeem ore we have one and we need what was it 65 for an, uh, an ultimate hybrid solar panel or something like that so we're going to need a lot of this and we're hoping to get it uh, by using the quarry so yeah that's it uh, for now uh, a quarry with a basic sorting system inside our house it's uh, powered by solar panels and a lot of sorting machines so it's uh, it might not be the, the most efficient way to do this uh, but I think it's pretty neat because these deep storage units are really cheap to make uh, basically all they need is a little bit of rubber which you can get from uh, rubber trees and some uh, smooth stone so yeah it's really cheap to make and they can store as far as I know an almost infinite amount of blocks so uh, it's uh, a nice storage area for relatively cheap there's one more thing to add to this and that is whenever you're running a quarry you should add water to the four corners be shooting at me because whenever the quarry hits lava it will stop so if you add water in the four corners like this whenever the quarry reaches lava it will turn into obsidian and that's something the quarry can simply mine so you'll get free obsidian and the quarry can keep on working yeah it's dancing it's dancing Ooh, it's dancing it's dancing yeah when it's down below I think we'll kill it with fire pour in some lava or whatever should be an easy kill interesting new way of killing the hydra use a quarry <laughs> that's really cool 